Hi, Movie Chronicles here. Have you ever wondered how it feels to see someone you love love someone else? Would that feeling let you live happily? Let us find the answers in today's movie, Heroin Disqualified. The opening scene begins with a high school boy named Teresaka Rita, who has no self-consciousness about how others perceive him. He is a cool type of guy who many girls like, but he isn't interested in anything. Hattori, his childhood friend, is a filmy girl who adores Rita and believes she will marry him one day. In the first scene, Hattori describes her feelings for him, saying she has admired him since she saved Rita from the bullies. Hattori believes that their friendship will blossom into love over time. One day at a cafeteria, Hattori discusses Rita with a close friend, Nakajima. If Hattori truly loves Rita, Nakajima advises her to confess her feelings. Hattori informs Nakajima that her hero must first understand the truth of love. Nakajima responds Rita might become someone else's if Hattori does not express her love towards him. Following this, they notice an innocent girl in their class, Adachi, being bullied by two boys. Rita arrives a few moments later and asks the boys to leave. The boys refuse and are about to fight with Rita, but the owner forcibly removes them. Rita and Adachi then begin eating together. Adachi advises Rita not to be with her because it will harm his reputation. However, Rita confronts her and wishes to be with her. The next day at school, Rita tells Hattori about Adachi and informs her they will be dating. After hearing this, Hattori is shocked and tries to keep them apart but Rita doesn't understand her. The same bullies approach Rita and Hattori once more as they leave for home. They begin to bully them, but Adachi arrives and beats them away simultaneously. She also yells at them, threatening them that she won't forgive them if they do anything to Rita. Rita then walks back home with Adachi, leaving Hattori behind. As a result, Hattori is disappointed because she cannot become Rita's heroine. Rita and Adachi begin spending time together. Rita also compliments Adachi's attractiveness without the glasses. Hattori becomes envious after witnessing all of this, so she goes to Nakajima and sobs like a baby. Hattori considers becoming an evil heroine to reclaim Rita. She then goes to the library and meets Adachi. Attempting to create an appealing bond between Rita and herself, Hattori shows their childhood photos to Adachi. Surprisingly, Adachi thinks the pictures are adorable. Irritated, Hitori pulls Rita's jersey from her bag, but this does not affect Adachi. After Hitori's failed attempts, she walks into the restroom. She overhears two girls discussing Rita and Adachi in the bathroom. They also believe Rita would look better with Hitori rather than Adachi. Hearing this makes Hitori happy, but Adachi walks out of one of the restrooms simultaneously. Adachi assures her that she will not harbor any ill will towards Hattori, despite being aware of their childhood bond. Hattori is upset after listening to her because she believes Adachi is acting as a true heroine. Hattori then lies on the bench outside the school, talking to herself. She expresses her feelings for Rita. At the same time, a handsome boy named Hiramitsu Kosuke overhears everything and approaches Hattori. Kosuke initiates contact with Hattori. A few moments later, he asked her to be his girlfriend, promising to assist her in forgetting Rita as soon as possible. When Hattori hears this, she is taken aback and declines the proposal. While Hattori walks away, Kasuke grabs her and kisses her, leaving her speechless. Following this, Hattori returns home and sobs, claiming that she has been stained as she was supposed to have her first kiss with Rita and nobody else. The next day, Hattori approaches Kasuke and asks him not to tell Rita about that day. Kasuke agrees but blocks her path, claiming that he expects something in return for her request. Meanwhile, Rita notices them and tells Kasuke to keep his distance from Hattori. Rita, Adachi, Hattori, and Kasuke then go bowling. Rita becomes envious when Kasuke assists Hattori in bowling. After that, Kasuke informs Hattori about Rita's jealousy. It makes Hattori happy to see Rita jealous. Rita then walks to the restroom and Adachi tells Hattori that making someone jealous in this manner is wrong. Hattori feels the same way, but Kasuke interrupts, claiming that she is the one who put Rita and Hattori apart. Rita passes by Hattori on her way home in the evening. They are standing on a bridge, talking to each other. 
Hattori inquires about what he admires about Adachi, to which he responds her passion and confidence in her dreams. Hattori becomes agitated and walks away, realizing she hasn't figured out her future in that way, but she has always stood beside him. The next day, Adachi approaches Hattori and asks to accompany Rita on her outing during the summer vacation. Listening to her, Hattori becomes overjoyed and rushes to Nakajima to share the good news. She also considers making some romantic plans to reclaim her hero in her life. On the other hand, Hattori's friend advises her to avoid Rita for the duration of the summer break to let him know the importance of herself. Hattori isn't thrilled with her friend's suggestion, but she agrees to go along with it. Following this, Hattori considers improving herself during the summer break by avoiding Rita. Hattori then begins to study and work hard. Kasuke approaches her one day and tells her she will have no summer memories if she continues this way. As a result, Kasuke asks Hattori out on a date, to which she agrees. They're both walking around the park with ice cream in their hands. Meanwhile, a swarm of children pelts her with water guns. She also begins to interact with the children. After a few moments, Kasuke joins her and they enjoy the day. Kasuke's ex-girlfriend approaches them on their way back. Kasuke takes her home and gives her some water because she is inebriated. During the same conversation, she claims that Kasuke is dating other girls to forget about her. Hattori becomes enraged and yells at her, claiming that Kasuke is a bright, cool, and smart guy who doesn't need her. Following Hattori's departure, Kasuke informs his girlfriend that he is no longer interested in her as she believes. On the other hand, Hattori calls Rita and invites him to a firework display the next day, to which Rita agrees. In the next scene, Hattori is overjoyed to see Rita after such a long time. Hattori notices that Rita has become more caring than he was previously. Rita also compliments her hair, making her happy. Meanwhile, Kasuke approaches them and begins to accompany Hattori. Rita asks about Kasuke and inquires about him. Hattori becomes perplexed and walks away, pretending to use the restroom. Following this, Rita asks Kasuke not to play with Hattori's feelings, to which Kasuke responds that Rita is the one who is playing with her feelings because he is dating Adachi even though Hattori has been with him for more than 10 years. Soon after Kasuke departs, Hattori returns to Rita and informs him there isn't much between Kasuke and herself. Rita then expresses his sadness, saying that everyone he cares about abandons him. Rita tells Hattori about his mother who left him. He also believes that Hattori had a wonderful summer vacation even without him. After hearing Rita, Hattori becomes sad, so she apologizes to him and reveals her plan of why she avoided him. Hattori also promises Rita that she will always be by his side. Rita kisses her soon after amid beautiful fireworks in the sky. They both go to a restaurant to have dinner. Adachi arrives just as Rita is about to express his emotions. Rita then tells Hattori that he'll break up with Adachi. Hattori arrives at school the next day in a good mood. On the other hand, Adachi becomes envious when she learns that Rita and Hattori were holding hands the night before. As a result, Adachi runs into Hattori and informs her that Hattori does not need to accompany Rita anymore. As Adachi exits the classroom, she finds Kasuke, who overheard their conversation. He tells Adachi that her tricks will not be able to break Hattori and Rita's bond. Rita follows Adachi home while she is returning. He then reveals everything that happened the night before, and Adachi collapses unconscious. After a few moments, Adachi regains consciousness and notices Rita in front of her. Adachi pretends to be ill and tells him that she can't fight her illness if he is with her. Rita feels he is stuck in the middle. He can't bear the thought of leaving Adachi, so he goes to Atori and unwillingly tells her that he'll stay with Adachi. As a result, they are both broke. It suddenly begins to rain. Hitori sobs and tries to call Kasuke because she needs someone, but she quickly hangs up. She then sobs, declaring that everything between Rita and herself is over. Kasuke appears a few moments later, having received her missed call. Kasuke confesses his feelings for her and assures Hattori that he will remain by her side. After hearing this, she hugs him tightly and agrees to be together. Following this, they begin to spend happy time with each other, strengthening their bond. 
One day, Hitori and Nakajima plan a surprise for Kasuke's birthday. In the following scene, all of the students from the school go on a tour. Rita is envious of Hitori and Kasuke's relationship. Hitori and Kasuke go shopping after enjoying the snow. Kasuke shows her a roller coaster picture during the conversation and expresses his desire to ride it on his birthday. Meanwhile, Hitori notices Rita's mother in the store who has moved in with her new family, including her husband and two children. Hitori is shocked and concerned about Rita, fearing that he will become depressed after seeing his mother. As a result, Hitori yells, there's a celebrity outside the store, and everyone rushes out. Hitori then grabs Rita's hand and leads him out of the store. The next evening, Hitori gets ready for Kasuke's birthday and walks out of her hotel room. Rita is discovered in the lift. They have regular conversations, and as soon as the lift opens, they see a beautiful sunset that reminds them of a childhood day when Hitori saved Rita from the bullies. Hitori suddenly realizes she needs to see Kasuke and departs. Rita then looks at the photos of Hitori on his phone in her remembrance. In the next scene, Rita enters Adachi's room, where he discovers her gossiping with herself about Hitori. Rita walks into the room and stops her from speaking negatively about Hitori. Adachi claims that she vents her frustrations to herself in the mirror. Adachi also admits to faking illness and expresses her tiredness of lying. She then inquires about Rita's inner thoughts. Hatori and Kasuke, on the other hand, are having a good time on the roller coaster. They're about to kiss when Kasuke stops Hatori and asks her to share her true inner feelings. Rita and Hatori share Adachi and Kasuke's good sides and their love for each other. They both express they cannot live without each other. Rita then asks Adachi to end their relationship. Adachi sobs as she realizes she is broke, but she agrees to let him go. Similarly, Hatori apologizes to Kasuke and tells him to find someone better than herself. Kasuke understands her feelings and agrees to let her go. Following this, Rita and Hatori both leave in search of each other. On his way, Rita notices his mother, who is surprised to see her son grow up. Hatori becomes concerned when she learns that Rita has gone somewhere with her mother. Hatori pursues Rita and finds him at the top of the tower. She believes Rita will commit suicide, so she rushes towards him. After reaching the top, Hatori doesn't see Rita and assumes he has jumped. She then begins to cry, but Rita appears from behind, saying that everyone will be here if she cries loudly. Rita then confesses her love for Hatori, and the two of them embrace and kiss each other, finally being together. In the final scene, Kasuki is looking for someone better than his ex, while Adachi also finds a boy who likes her. And here the movie ends. For more unique and fascinating movies that you may have not even heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.